Hey guys, here are my socials. You guys can follow me on all my social media platforms. The links are in the description. And last but not least, before you like this video, make sure you sub and put the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to. Excellent. Can you guys hear it better? Uh, come in and give yeah, you guys yeah, good, uh, my perspective and everything which you guys be spamming me and everything, you know, throughout this whole two hour situation. And, um. <laughs> Bro, now. Yo! Now they're spamming L. Yeah, that was loud. loud. No, like, do Bro. you guys want flight or cash? Like, make up your fucking mind. Like, what the f? Nicholas, somebody make a pull. Is... The flight God. won, but then they were spamming L's when we were on flight. Yo, Snaggy, look at Cash right now and just look how his mouth is open. Bro, look at how... <laughs> I, I think I think you're opening a little water for... for <laughs> <laughs> look at his muscles poking through his shirt. Look at him. Oh All right, do the, <laughs> do the poll one more time. Do the poll one more time. Do you guys want flight or Cash? Make up your yes. fucking minds, bro. Snaggy O's. Nah, we're going to gamble right after the video. We're going to gamble after the video. Why is he just sitting with his mouth open like that? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's ready for us, Big Z. <laughs> now Cash is winning. This this shit is fucking insane. Y'all need to make y'all mind up, bro. Yeah, like, yo. Cash right. is winning? So what do they want? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. They're trolling, they're trolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to watch it. We got to get through it, bro. Come on. I restarted, restarted. Lead the poll mods. Yo. What's good, everybody? He's got an ear rape, bro. So hold on a second. Here, man. Yeah, turn that shit down. Uh, come in and give you guys uh, my perspective and everything which you guys been spamming me and everything, you know, throughout this whole two hour situation. And, um. Yo! Yeah, man. Let's go get the engine here, man. What's good, everybody, man? You got us from my IG at Cash Nasty, man. Um, this is serious, man. You guys know, man, everything that's going on social media, I see everybody reposting the videos and just taking clips, you know, like, and just clickbaiting, man. Like, like y'all, y'all, y'all going crazy, but we're not here to talk about that, man. We're here to talk about this whole 2 app situation, you know, with Mopey. Um, now, I'm going to give you guys my perspective. You know, you guys got to remember, I, I did not live at the 2 app house, all right? Uh, the most I would ever be there probably like uh, probably two consecutive nights, you know what I mean, back to back, and that's me. I'm never really in there, you know what I mean? I'm chatting with them, going to their rooms, and then I'm going to go live, you know what I mean? So I never- Bro, the entire chat's putting L's. Are they trolling? Bro, stop. Just watch it, bro. They trolling. They trolling. Stop. All right. Y'all niggas chill out, bro. Let us watch the video. Yeah, come on, guys. I'm about to just run an ad, bro. Seriously, just please relax. Never live there, you know? Um, so you guys got to look at that perspective, man. You know what I mean? I just- I had roommates before, you know what I mean? And I know, like, it could be little things, like the last person who left their dish inside the dishwasher, you know, and the other roommate would get mad. You know, these are things I had been through. I mean, like, simple things like last person leave their clothes in the washing machine or dryer. Don't even say it, bro. I mean, Stacy's always in the washing machine, buddy. I mean, I don't need to see why that's a problem. The yeah. whole team is hitting that shit in the washroom. You're weird bitch. as fuck. You're weird as fuck, bro. You're Just play the video. Right, you know, and little things like that that add up, man. If you if you went through roommates, man, you know what I'm talking about, man. So that's why when I was offered, you know, from everybody too hype for me to stay in the uh, your Belinda house in the uh, the new house, I always like say ah, I I'd rather get my own spot, you know. And I mean, let's be real, man. I like to walk around butt naked, with my balls out. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo, and what? Imagine just walking around in the house and you see big cash and nasty walking around with his nuts strapped. <laughs> I would love this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Facetime him right now. Nah, 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 I gotta chill. Yeah, chill, bro, chill. Be in triple chill. Now, if you guys come in for drama, go ahead, and leave, man. All right. I, I, I've been through too much YouTube drama and beef. Coming up, you guys can look at my, my history. You know, I'm just experienced now, man. You know, it's not worth it, bro. All the people that I have ever argued with, whatever it is, like, it's squashed, you know? I mean, OSN, me and him, cool. You know, so Illuminati, like, I, I DM him. You know what I mean? Like, like, life is way too short to just hold people, you know, just hold these grudges with these people, man. You know, especially these people online, you know? So, that just come in experience. But... This right here is in real life. Uh, I didn't think or have any type of idea that it would actually come to where it's at right now. 
You know what I mean? Like me making it, I rather not even make these type of videos, man. You know, but we here, man, you know, um, I rather kept it offline. And, you know, I've been trying to like bring people together, you know, some type of ways, you know, you know, I, I mean, I, I talk to Lowe's, you know, I, the, matter of fact, these are people I'm, I'm cool with, y'all, right? I don't, I'm not beefing with TD, Mopey, Mal, or Lowe's, man. Like, I barely, like, I'm not going to pause it that much, bro, but I bet you he feels like he's stuck in the middle. Like, yeah, Ca yeah, yeah. Cash is like the opposite of Chris and like, I feel like all these other dudes. By the way, guys, I'm, since you guys were spamming L's, I am running a 180. So um, if you want to watch with no ad interruption, just wa wait to my YouTube channel. Sorry, everyone else that I just got to go through that. But like, it's really annoying. Or just pay five bucks or suffer through through Amazon Prime. Fucking weird ass chat being weird. All right. But yeah, um, let's do it. Like these, these are my dudes. I'm going to address a lot of questions. You know what you guys been asking? I'm going to try my best. But uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Guys, when we be trio, well, I'm going to be trio. You know what I mean? So let's talk about um, my boy Mopey. You know what I mean? Me and his relationship, man. Uh, relation. Please don't put that in another context. I know how y'all <laughs> Um Mopey, my dude, bro. You know what I mean? Um, I can call him right now. He'll pick up, you know. He, when, whenever this thing, he was transpiring. For what it is, you know, like, you know, me and Mopey, we would talk. I feel like, you know, he would talk to me first. And I didn't know this would transpire this way, right? But um, we built this off of friendship at the beginning. And I'm not saying that it's not still friendship, right? I'm not beefing with nobody too hype, you know what I mean? Uh, there is, they not holding uh, cash. You signed this contract. You can't say anything. You can't do a thing. I'm gonna tell you guys tonight, bro. If I had that, I wouldn't even be here. I, I, I don't like restrictions, man. You feel me? That's why I left that that that, that assistant manager job, man. That stressful job. I got tired of, 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 of talking to him and telling him, hey, cash, you know, you gotta stay late. Hell no, I believe I want to leave. I just remember like when I first like came into Two Height. You know, what I mean, when we first built Two Height, man. And before we get in there, I'm going to tell you guys tonight, me and Chris had a conversation before we made Too Hype what it is right now. You know what I mean? I told Chris, this was back then when I was live streaming. Like, I just got done live streaming. I was stressed. You guys know I was in a deep depression because just it was just, you guys know how the 2K community can be, bro. And I was live streaming every day. It, it, it just, it was a lot to manage, man. Question, chat. Could you guys see Cash leaving Too Hype? Could you guys see Cash Nasty leaving Too Hype? Be honest. Oh God, I do. You I mean, actually, I, you actually see him I, leaving? I want to. I want to. No, because he made him. That's what I'm saying. Like he kind of has it how he wants to have it, and I'm not gonna lie. It's too. I feel yeah, like he's yeah, and he's too deep in with hundred thieves. He's too deep in. Yeah, it's too deep. And yeah. on God, on God, they're paying him a shit ton of bread for to be in the hundred thieves shit. You know they are. Bro. It they would be to. dumb. I wouldn't say dumb, but it would be a bad decision move at this point in his career to just up and leave it. After right, and I told Chris that yeah, I did not want to take on no leadership role. You know what I mean? Just because I've been exhausted. You know, I I I want to come and bring energy. You know what I mean? Do some fun things, but you know, like 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 making like big boss decisions and doing all the stuff behind the scenes that you don't get money for. I didn't want that at all, and it was really clear. You know, from the get go with them, and and it worked out. Because look at this right here, y'all. Right, us as people, we automatically gonna just magnify who's in charge you know what i mean you know the car that your boss drive you do you know your boss wife name you know the type it's little small things you know what i mean yeah and this right here just covered me just growing in a company from being an associate to the assistant manager i know these type of things right will occur so when you in this big big role bro you get magnified crazy. And I didn't want that. And I'm not gonna sit right here and trash Mopey. The dude's a good dude, man. Like, we have like the most open conversations, y'all. Like, we talk about aliens. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about like, <laughs> just, just, you know, them deep talks that you wish you and your homeboy could Yeah, talk about, I know what man. he's talking about. We would like do it just about every night, you know, after we get done with videos, man. He's a genuine good dude, bro. You know, me, me and Mal, bro, like, you know, we love Mopey, bro. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody, man, you fuck with Mopey, bro, you fuck with us. You know what I mean? Like, straight up, man. You know, like, it was, it is still that, that type of bond. You feel me? Now, from my perspective of not staying in the house and hearing, you know, Mopey's side, I was shocked. You know, I didn't even think we were, like I said, I didn't even think we was to come to, 
you know, social media. I was really shocked because it's like, bro, I thought, you know, like everything was good. Everybody got to have their disagreements. You know what I mean? It's so many yeah. different personalities in the group. We have disagreements, but I didn't know it would come to this right here, man. I could have done more. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody could have done more, man, in a way to where like we could have communicated more, you know, just really hear him out. You know what I mean? Instead of like asking that one time, hey, bro, you good? So, you know, you know, and they're like, nah, you look at me, I'm like, nah, man, are you really good? I would do that. But I feel like, you know, us collectively, we should have done it more. You know what I mean? He has a right, you know, to express how he feel, bro. You know what I mean? He's human. And, and, and honestly, I just didn't know how serious it was. You know, until now. All right. Replay, stay for the five, give yourselves. I feel like, I don't know, bro. It's so weird because Cash Nasty is cool with everybody. And at the same time, every, all the other members are beat. It's so fucking weird, bro. I want to see what's going to happen. This is fucking insane. All right, so let's keep it trill. Even more trill, all right? How many of you guys right now watching this video here from your phone probably on lunch break? All right? Probably at your job sneaking. You know what I mean? No. What is he talking about? He's basically saying, when he dropped the video, he's basically saying people right now are probably watching this while they're at work. He's making you out of finish his watch. Okay. Trying to make a how many watch. guys doing? What's your name? Look how many. A lot of you guys probably are, right? Now, if you had an opportunity, you know, to come and do videos, you know, Will you drop what you're doing right now? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're damn right you would. Yeah. Because I did. So, while I'm saying that, you know, Jezzer did give Mopey an opportunity. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat. He gave him an opportunity, you know, to have a voice. You know what I mean? To, to, to do something different in life. You know what I mean? It's probably not what he want to do now, but he did give him that opportunity. You know what I mean? And they were childhood friends. I don't want to go in depth with that. But, you know, like, that, that, that is just how I'm coming. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, were you ready to go work at 8 to 5 where, you know, the man behind your back telling you you're not doing your job right? You know, you got these things going on at home, bro. You know, you got family issues. All these things right here. Bills need to be paid. You know what I mean? You barely making, you know, ends me for the bill payments, bro. You know what I mean? Or oh, will you rather entertain millions? You know? Let's not forget forget that, y'all. You know what I mean? That's hella valuable, man. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people in the struggle where I come from, bro, will stop, dr drop every single thing to have the opportunity. All right, so let's talk about Jesse. Jersey. Jersey Lazy, which I want to call him. All right, man. This guy here is a hard-working person, man. You know what I mean? For how hard he worked, bro, you will think this dude right here came out the struggle. You feel me, bro? And I watched as a, you know, grow as an individual. You know what I mean? Am I here to have his back? I'm just being straight up with y'all. You know, take it how you want. You know what I mean? He never did me wrong in no type of way. You know, I didn't stay in the house. But from my perspective, bro, Jezzer, he kept growing as an individual. Jezzer got a whole team, bro. You know what I mean? He got a whole team behind him, editors and all these things right here, you know, production and all this right here, bro. He giving them dudes a job. You know what I mean? He's creating jobs for the people. And that 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 is a good thing. You know what I mean? I got editors too, but that also come with a lot of responsibilities, y'all. You know what I mean? He got this big house, man. You know what I mean? More bills need to be paid, bro. What I'm trying to say is, man, you know, the little small things, sometimes we tend to forget. And let me break it down here to y'all, bro, all right? When I was system manager at Walmart, bro, I, I wanted to do anything as possible to get out, all right? I stopped talking to my family and my friends, best friends, for two years. Two years. Y'all remember when I was live streaming every single day and all this right here, bro? Yeah. And if I work in a job, I did for two years. I didn't have no really friends, bro. Let me show you guys something real quick, bro. Like, Cash Nasty is my favorite YouTuber and streamer of all time, and I'm going to show you guys why. Let me just show you really quick. I want to show you guys some real inspirational shit. I used to stream before I made that little t viral Twitter video. Let me show you guys. You guys can all see my chat right now, right on the screen. Watch this. When you type in slash user cash nasty gaming, he's been following me since 2014, bro. 2014. I was streaming that. I wanted to be a streamer, but my, like my parents would have let me and shit with the internet and shit. I'm just showing you guys. Like this motherfucker has been streaming for a fat minute. I watch his streams all the time, like 2014 shit. That's crazy. So like for me, that shit is fucking crazy. Um, he inspired me to stream. From being honest, bro, he did. He really inspired me to stream. Um, and uh, he hosted me one day, and 
ever since then I wanted to be a streamer. I got made fun of a lot in high school for wanting to be a streamer. That's why I stopped in 2014, 2015. My internet wasn't good. So I, I'm, it's a story for another time, but I'm just trying to show you guys right now. I, uh, I, 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 it's just crazy. I love Cash Nasty. By far my biggest inspiration in this, in this Twitch and I'll always say that. He's, to me, bro, he, he's literally like, he's like a Travis Scott to Kanye West type of thing. He's like a fucking, you know what I mean? Like, that's a long time. 2014 is almost 10 years, bro. It's a long time. Uh, let's proceed, though. Let's proceed. But yeah, he wanted it bad. And that's another thing, chat. If you guys want to get out of that, like, 9 to 5 trap and shit, you said flight. Flight's my biggest inspiration now, bro. That man, flight went from literally fucking just being a reactor to being a fucking, like, artist to a fucking, oh my God. Flight is just, flight's flight, bro. Flight is my inspiration now. I mean, cash still is, but flight is just, Flight is a living, a walking legend, and so is Cash, but you guys know what I'm saying, like, Flight is straight up my, my fucking, like, Flight is just fucking Flight, bro. Look at Flight, bro. You know what I mean? Um, but nah, man, I, um, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, guys, I recommend that you guys, you guys break the, the matrix, break the, the, the sheep lifestyle, whatever it is, and follow your dreams, bro. You know, and I had to stop talk. I, I I had to stop talking to a couple of my family members too, so I know exactly what the fuck he's talking about. Um, and yeah, that's that's that. I didn't even see Malcolm up until I got the challenger. That's when I pulled back at his crib. You feel me? I remember times like my mom would blow my phone up like several days at a time because like I would not like reciprocated like it, it was like i had tunnel vision it was like i felt like i had to prioritize like where i'm at like where i'm living at in life i wanted better for myself so it's like i put a lot of people on the back burner mirror you know and i'm a man you know what i mean I, i'm a human i make mistakes you know what i mean and you know luckily you know i'm fixing that bond now when well, it's fixed you know hopefully mom i love you when you driven so much man the little small things you sacrifice for you know what i mean and that's gonna come with yeah. relations. You know what I mean? People, go, you you're gonna grow together or you're gonna grow away from each other. All right, so this video is not really personal. This is a little bit different than Mopey's video. But what he said, I wanna touch base on because I have my own input on that. It's true, you're gonna sacrifice things, whether it's a relationship in your life, whether it's, you know, whether it's less than fucking eight hours of sleep, whether you're, you have to give shit up basically to make it, is what he's saying. And that really, that is very true. You like, you, you literally gotta drop a lot of shit to make it big. Um, also, it's slash user and then it's cash nasty gaming, not user slash cash nasty. You guys, like, why are you guys filming that? You guys are being fucking weird. But yeah, sacrifices are, are a big key in coming up, uh, 100%. Show the man. You know what I mean? And what I'm saying there, cause like, I'm, I'm just trying to give a big relief on him because like, I see he get a lot of heat. You know, he just got a lot of responsibility, a lot of bills need to be paid, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I understand that because, you know, when you're trying to just, you're driven, you, you like tunnel vision. You know what I mean? Like, and what's coming with that, man, when you like so driven, a lot of your, your relations with people and friends, you know, they be put on a back burner, you know, temporarily. Because like, you know, you got to sacrifice that, man. You know, it's... Sad to say that, but it's just, it's just how it is, bro. A lot of people don't want to make them sacrifices. A lot of people, excuse me, a lot of people want to sleep more. A lot of people want to have a, a, a comforter sleep. lifestyle. A comforter. A comfortable lifestyle laying on a comforter, you could say. From my perspective, the mistake that Jerry done, you know, with this whole drama going on, was the fact, you know, he reached out to his family. That wasn't a mistake, but putting it in a video, you know what I mean? It just didn't seem genuine, you know what I mean? Even though he might have had the good intentions, the way it looked like it looked bad, you know what I mean? And I told him about it, you know what I mean? I didn't like the fact he done that. I do remember y'all. I'm about to call Cash Nasty up, bro, and I'm gonna be like, yo, would you be willing to drop two hype and maybe start your own duo partnership with me? I'm curious what Cash would say. Don't, yeah, 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 I won't, I won't, I won't. I won't. That's, is that weird? is that Mopey, you know, he expressed to us that he mentally wasn't there for videos, you know what I mean? And I remember when we had a talk outside, you know, he, you know, Mopey was saying uh, that he was going to uh, go get help or whatnot, 
you know, um, Jesse was crying. You know, I, mean? I, I can I can never forget how the face, you know, the the face Jesse had like he was disappointing himself because he felt like that he could have did more for Mopic. You know, what I mean, that's the energy I had felt from him, man. You know, but let's talk about Christopher London, aka LSK, man. Now, this guy here, he the one who taking a lot of responsibilities behind the scenes. All right. These are things that you do not get paid for, man. These are things that, like, the, the little tedious things that I just could not handle, did not want to do. You know what I mean? Like, like just, just holding people accountable for, you know, coming to the film. You know, uh, uh, talking to uh, collabs, collaborate, little small things like that, man. You know, the administrative work. So, Chris, being true with y'all, this is the person I bump heads the most with. Oh, uh, shit. Why? Um, it, it's just his delivery. You know what I mean? His delivery is so off a lot of times. It's just like I have to like check him. Like, hey, bro, like sometimes we'd be in calls, you know what I mean? And he'll just talk over. You know, he feel like that his opinion is so much more important than the next person, you know? And I'd be like, hey, man, I'm talking. You know what I mean? It'd be awkward for me, but, you know, he would check himself. You know what I mean? He wouldn't hold it against me. So I'm telling you guys this right here. You know, a lot of people looking at the text message, I think it was a Moby video. Uh, you know, uh, look like he was being, you know, like a dictatorship. You know what I mean? He was saying, you know, I suggest you guys to unfollow these dudes right here. I don't mess with whatever it is. I didn't do it. You know what I mean? Because like, it, bro, you, you ain't about to boss me around. You know what I mean? Um, did they feel uncomfortable about it? Chris, especially? Yes. But when I got a random, did he make me feel some type of way about it? Anything like this? No. All right. It's just that, you know, he's. He's a very emotional person, I guess. You know what I mean? And a lot of his delivery just be wrong. And one thing I do like about Chris is that, you know, when you tell him something, he do correct it. You know what I mean? He tried best to correct it. He'll try to do the exact same thing over and over. You guys want to ask, do I feel like Chris got good intentions? My answer would be yes. I feel like Chris got really legitimate good intentions for people. You know what I mean? Like, he do try to put on much people as he can. Like, if... We if, we if he's eating, he do try to get the, the bag too, you know, with sponsorships and things like that. Not a selfish individual to where he feel like he just eating and everybody else not gonna eat. You know, he try to let everybody eat, but at the exact same time, you know, when you just worry about the bag too much, you know what I mean? You don't really look at people, you don't feel this too much. You know what I mean? You think the bag will cover feelings. I myself had them, you know, type of issues myself. You know, shit. Sh Sometimes my sister would be like. Hey, boo, can we talk or whatever it is? And, you know, I would miss the phone call because I'm either doing something or whatever, doing something busy on videos. You know, I feel bad. And next day, I'll send her some money. You know, it's, it's something I need to work on, too. So I'm not really going to address uh, Zach and uh, Jidel's situation. I feel like they're going to make their own video to talk about it, you know. Bro, chat. Are you guys excited for their videos? Jidel. I'm excited for Jidel's video chat because... Moby was ripping him the hardest. I can't wait to see what he has to say, bro. Like, that's going to be probably the most crazy. Like, that's going to be the best video. This video is not really what everyone was thinking. This is more of a video just kind of like breaking down his relationships with every member. Uh, he's not bashing anybody. I know that's what everyone wanted and shit. Um, but, yeah. I um, I do think, though, I genuinely think um, Cash Nasty is a really good person, bro. Um, like I said, guys, he's literally my fucking... Mentor, so this motherfucker is a goat, um, and I'll and I'll never ever look at him as somebody who switched up for money. Guys, a lot of these YouTubers and streamers really do switch up for money. I don't want you guys to ever think of me as, as that type of person either, and I, and I'll continue to show you guys that I'm not like that at all. Uh, I mean, I hope you guys don't think that of me that I'm not a fucking stuck up fucking fuck. I'm for the people. But um, I, I just want you guys to understand, like, I'm not going to call Cash. I'll shoot him a text. Um, I'll just be like, yo, bro, how you doing? How you holding up? I'll do that. Let me text Cash. Text Cash nasty. But could you guys agree that Cash nasty didn't switch up? Like, you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. I think they got some more personal things going on, you know, behind this. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let them boys handle it. And uh, no, bro, I ain't got no type of steam with Zach or Jadiel. Like, I can have conversation with these dudes right here, bro. They don't force me to. Like, do- someone just said, money made you into a gambling addict. Like, bro, okay, let me. You're a fucking piece of shit, bro. No ads? Yeah, mods. You don't have to run. I only wanted you to run that one one eighty mods. No more. No more. Stop saying facts. It's not facts. It's really not facts, bro. It's really not. Um, let me take cash. Hope you're doing okay, bro. Stay up. I'm here if you want to talk. Yo, chat. I'm gonna send cash nasty a video, bro. Everyone spam W cash and shit. Um, in the chat. I'm gonna say cash nasty video right now. Yo, cash, I'm streaming right now, bro. You got a lot of support watching your vid. We love you, man. I wanted to show you something, cash. I'll never forget when you used to be a daily streamer on NBA 2K14. You raided me this one time, Brody, and I'll whoops. Hold on a second. Let me let me get it. And I'll never ever forget, Brody. Um, let me show you real quick. You rated me with a bunch of viewers. Look at that, bro. You've been following me since 2014, bro. That's 10 years. It's 10 fucking years or like nine years, some shit like that. Appreciate you, Brody. Much love to you. We hope you're doing okay. Stay strong. All right, chat. Do something that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? If I feel uncomfortable or I feel like I don't want to do a video, man, they always been over for me. You know what I mean? Like... I tell you this right here, man. A lot of these two hype videos, man, like they do respect the fact that, you know, I got come back to Louisiana, my family, and I'd be gone for like a month or two, you know what I mean? And that would be in the way of them doing their videos, you know, but they always do bend over for me. So, you know, I do want to say that you can boys watch. I do appreciate that, man. And uh, yeah. So I see a lot of you guys talking about the blacklist words and everything. That okay, that's funny. Channel. Bro, that is crazy. They really. You guys know they blacklisted AMP, fucking um, Mopey, a bunch of words, like crazy ass words, like you couldn't say shit, all that stuff. That's funny as fuck to look at. That's crazy. Um, I didn't know, but I can explain it because I really do understand it. And I'm going to break it down to y'all, all right? Let's say if you break up with your girlfriend, right? Do you want to continuously walk around and see her picture on the counter? That's true. Do you? <laughs> no, you don't. I right? it make you sick to your stomach, right? So what I'm saying is, y'all, no one wanna just look at negativity, bro. Like no one wanna wake up and look at, you know, you guys comparing me to other people. I don't like seeing that, bro. You know what I mean? That will like stop my my motivation. You know, my grind. You know what I mean? You think sometimes, you know, LeBron get tired of seeing the Michael Jordan comparison? Yeah, he's tired of it. Everybody's tired of it, man. Definitely. So with Mopey being blacklisted. It was more about, you know, like, this is when Mopey went off to go get help. You know what I mean? And, you know, I remember the conversation that we had in the group text message. It was like, you know, can you guys stop spamming him? You know what I mean? While, while he's going to seek help, you know, as in a way, just trying to, you know, like relieve a lot of pressure, you know, and expectations on Mopey. It really, really was, from my point of view, was caring about Mopey, you know, mentally. His mentality, you know, his mindset, man. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to continue to see them type of things, bro. Especially when you're going through stuff, bro. And, and I think I see a lot of people talking about, oh, y'all blacklist, amp, sidemen, and all type of things right here. Because y'all compare us to them all the time, bro. You know what I mean? And no one want to sit here and just look at that every single... I don't. And I'm, I'll tell you right here, I'm not going to see that stuff every day. You know what I mean? But yeah, I think that's a legitimate. Can I ask you guys something? What is Sidemen? Like, what is that? Like, I, I'm being, I'm being serious. I don't know what that is. Is that, is that like another group? Here you go with the what the fucks. Oh, it's KSI's group. Okay, who's in it? Who's in it? I gotta start reacting to their videos. I, I didn't know. It's KS. Oh, it's a United Kingdom group. Okay. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know. I didn't know. I knew KSI was in a group. I said it was called Sidemen. That makes sense, though. That makes a lot of sense to me. I swear my life I'm not joking. All my all my all my entire family's life I had no idea. We're gonna start reacting to their videos and I had no idea. That's lit as fuck. I had no idea. Okay. I mean, like you guys are giving me a bunch of hate. Shut the fuck up, bro. Reason 
why them type of words right there with blacklisted. Whoever did it, hey man, thank you. Cause uh, yeah, I ain't wanna look at it myself. So where I feel like that should happen, y'all, is just that everybody, us in our group, we need to take accountability for our mistakes and continue to strive to get better, you know, just as individuals, as people, as humans. You know what I mean? Cause we not perfect, man. We're going to make mistakes. You know what I mean? But I feel like if you're going to judge, you should judge a person on how they correct their mistakes, not the mistakes they doing. You feel me, man? And a lot of you guys, you know, y'all see us on camera, man. You know, we happy, we positive, but you guys got to remember, man, when that camera goes off, we got real life things going on with us, man. You know what I mean? True. Everybody got their own struggles, man. You know, and you know, I can't recall some days I go to two-way pause, man. I didn't even want to film sometimes, you know what I mean? But I did it for the group, you know, and you know, Mopey or sometimes Zach would pull me to the side and be like, hey man, everything y'all good? You know what I mean? They would like kind of understand, you know what I mean? So to reiterate all this right here going on, y'all, Mopey. I don't want to bash you, bro, but in low key, if, 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 I'm not calling cash out, but chat, if it, if it, if you're recording videos with a group of people and it's feeling like a job and you're not happy, then I don't know, bro. Maybe it's not. Okay, let me ask you guys something, bro. Obviously, YouTube pays are bad, but chat, if you guys were to record videos and you're as big as these motherfuckers are and you could just make money on the side and shit, but you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not happy recording with a certain group, is that like, would you guys leave or would you guys stay? Be honest. I mean, yes, you're making tons of bread, but like, you know, regardless, you're already making enough bread by yourself to where you don't even need that bread. But, uh, you guys got what I'm trying to say. Okay, so a lot of people are saying I'd leave. It's not real. Yeah, I feel like you're not having fun. You're not, you're not enjoying it. It's kind of feeling like a real job. I mean, it's a lot of bread, but you're not enjoying it. Like chat, I don't know, bro. Let's, let's just, there's like a couple minutes left. Let's finish this shit. And then we're going to gamble. Still my boy, man. Mal, still my boy, man. Uh, TD, still my boy. Hey, bro, my bad for not calling in the last uh, couple days, man. You know, I just feel like there's so much stuff going on. Low, still my boy. Talk to Low the other day, man. You know, these right here still my boys, man. That's what I really like about Cash, bro. I really fuck with Cash so much because this motherfucker is so, all, so real, bro. This is motherfucker's authentic. Now, before you guys see, hey, you're riding. How does this dick feel? It feels fan-fucking-tastic. I'm just kidding. Do not clip that. He does not play that shit. Don't clip that. He's gonna unfollow me. Just please. But but I'm being real, bro. Like he's authentic as fuck, and you can see through right through people. I see him. He's a genuine fucking real. Uh, <clears throat> he is, bro. He's real, for real. I, I I love you, Cash, bro. And uh, I I don't I don't do the beef and stuff, man. You know what I mean? It just I feel like they're childish. I don't even feel like that we should even came to where we at right now, you know, doing the video. All right, so let me talk a little bit about, you know, uh, 100 Thieves, man. All right, I see you guys will leave a comment, things like this right here, man. You guys should not be leaving no type of negativity. This right here, not my contract. This is just me personally telling you guys right here, all right? So I remember before, you know, we got uh, signed and everything like that, um, we was having, like, issues within the group because, like, we all was having too many responsibilities, you know what I mean? We was growing so fast, still is growing fast, you know what I mean? But I got two different channels, y'all. You know what I mean? I live in Louisiana and I live in California. You know what I mean? I got family out here, bro. You know what I mean? So it was taking on so much, man. You know, I myself said, bro, something need to change. We need something, bro. Because with the way this right here going, man, I'm going to be burnt out. And I'm going to be miserable. You know what I mean? Mm, and everybody felt that. I just realized something. How do you guys feel 100 Thieves feels about the situation? Bro, they probably want to terminate. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know, bro. Chat, what do you guys feel like 100 Thieves is, is like, they're probably mad as fuck. Damn, I forgot. They're mad, annoyed, exactly. Damn. I wonder what they're going to say, bro. Because this is making them look bad. They can't leave their own contract. Yes, but white guy. They could terminate a contract. I'm just saying. I've been in contracts before. You can literally get terminated. But I don't think that's going to happen. But I wonder. I wonder, bro. I'm just curious. Like, wow, that's crazy, bro. That way. So, 100 Thieves came in and they relieved a lot from us, y'all. I mean, just look at our last videos, man. Look at the production, man. You know, it's just that we got so much going on, y'all. You know, you could be overwhelmed. 
You know what I mean? So I personally just want to thank 100 Thieves for picking us up again, man. You know, I greatly appreciate it. Real talk, man. Because, uh, yeah, man, I was, yeah. So this situation right here, man, you know, we're going to continue to grow, man. We, we're going to look at all our faults, man. I'm going to make sure that everybody look at their faults. Trust me. From here and out, you know what I mean? I'm going to try my best. So in moment video, man, uh, he brought some real talk, man. You know, he was saying, you know, when you have all this fame, you know what I mean, and money coming, bro, you know, you tend to, you know, kind of lose your ground, you know what I mean? Because, you like, everything just coming at you so fast. I myself had to check myself a couple of times, you know what I mean? Like, calm down with your ego, Cash, you know what I mean? No, don't get lost within the sauce, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I, I can honestly say that, us as individuals, we are growing, you know what I mean? But we do need to stay grounded, you know, and can just continue to, just, you know, have ourselves take responsibility for our faults. So just ending it off, man, I just want to thank all you guys, man, for a little support, man, you know, and, you know, for the people who, you know, not, uh, you know, jumping the ship or whatnot, you know, leaving too hype, uh, unsubscribing, I was right here, man. I appreciate you guys who want to hear everybody's perspective, you know what I mean? Bro, no way you guys actually clip that and are making tweets about it, bro, and tagging me and him in it. What are you guys doing, bro? It's not even funny. It's weird. Like, how weird do you have to be to, do, like, you're putting it on Twitter? If you put that shit on TikTok and I see it on God, I'm, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Always Fucking weirdos, bro. To the story, you know? It's that person's perspective, my perspective, and the truth. You know what I mean? Fucking weirdos, and, uh, bro. It takes a lot of maturity to sit You're back weird and as fuck. everything. Just, you know, just get it all together and just, you know, get your truth from it. Thank you guys so much, man, for watching this long video. Nats crew, we all just dang. Give me Jesus! Shout out to you, Cash, for real. W video, bro. Um...